Ian, today I walked where people only lay. Ian, as you know, I have a fascination with everything pre-death, like last words and epitaphs. And I hope that I don't make it seem like I have the least bit of disrespect for our deceased. Now, your question is, do you believe that a person can change, or do you believe that the things around a person change and they adapt to it, or in some cases, they don't? Ian, this is a tough question, but I'll do my best to answer it, and while I'm at it, I'll tell you why I'm standing in a cemetery. Ian, we once played with some tarot cards in a house slash restaurant. Well, one of those cards we pulled out was death, which might seem quite ominous, but apparently it means change. Because death is the ultimate factor of change. It will rip up the roots we've carefully laid out for ourselves and expose them to the raw, harsh sunlight. Ian, I walk past a lot of graves. I walk past graves containing lovers and mourners, mass graves containing one person, and past headstones with the names filled in and the years left blank. Ian, graves contain old men, young men, and one grave contained a child, and I could not bring myself to fill in that grave. Ian, death is change, the one thing that will always make us change. But death is only the second biggest force that moves the very ground beneath our feet, because Ian, I always believed that life was the biggest means of change. It's true that the trees grow from the dirt made of dead leaves, but Ian, life begets life begets life. As the headstone says, la vie est liée à la mort, comme la mort est liée à la vie. Life is linked to death, as death is linked to life. Ian, I drown myself in last words, because I think it's important that someone remembers them, that someone remembers the last words you ever said, and then bores his friends to tears with them. The last words of Karl Marx were, get out. Last words are for fools who haven't said enough. But I'd like to tell you that he was wrong. Last words are the only thing anyone will ever hear from us ever again, and I think they deserve to hear something beautiful. Ian, I believe that we change, and the things around us change simultaneously and yet so fast that none of us truly notice till we turn back and wonder where it all went. Hopefully, we endeavor to remember the important things. Hopefully, we remembered others and ourselves. Hopefully, we remembered love and pain, life and death. And I only hope the people who live on after me remember how to love one another as life goes on. Ian, I hope you liked my answer, even if it might not have been what you were expecting. Leave me another question if you want. Oh, and by the way, I meant what I said. I hope we always remember to love one another.